Grade, I will show you how to grade. Assignment, okay, click on the assignment. No, no, that's assignment itself. Okay. Okay, so now you know 27 submitted, you can actually view all submission and you can grade, view all submission. But you know, uh, something about the system is that it will wait for the last date for the assignment before you can actually grade it. That is to basically ensure that it's fair and square, that you don't grade it before. So now it will wait for everyone to submit before it can click. You will try to grade it, try to grade, try to grade it, grade, grade, click. click. Yeah, you can grade. Okay, go up, go up to the first one, the first atas. Okay, grade it. Status, click on status first. Status and see submission. The status, uh, the status bar. Click down there. Click on status. Okay, click. Yeah, yeah. You click. You just click on status. It will sort. Okay, we'll see. Okay, no submission. No submission. Okay, you can click. Okay, go to the next page. The next two, three, next, next, the next page. You will see a submission there. Okay, submit it for grading, right? Click grade. Okay. Okay. So, according to the best practices of the system, right, it will not allow you to grade until you reach the date, cutoff date. This is to ensure that everything is fair. It's part of the, because the Moodle is actually developed by educators. So, they follow the best practices. So, you only can grade once it is in. So, when you grade it, you can actually see the, see, you can give it a mark and you can also give it a comment. So please improve on section so and so, okay? And this system also allows you to integrate with rubrics. So any of you all use Ruby star, Ruby star rubric, rubric generator, rubric to create rubrics, you create everything again, right? All over again. But actually there's no need to do that. There's actually a Ruby star system. I can cover that for you in future. It, because I need to touch another taklimat. So Ruby star is a system which allows you to uh, use that. Yep. So we have Ruby. Uh, I can, if you have time, because I don't want to exceed your time, I can actually show you. You want to see it? Do you all want to see Ruby star or not? You want to see Rubric uh, template, Rubric creator? Okay. So we'll try Ruby star. R U B I S T R. Ruby star. <coughs> Ruby star. Okay. Ruby star. <coughs> Click Ruby star. So it's Ruby star. <coughs> Ruby star. Okay, wait for a while. It'll, okay, Ruby star. It's called Ruby star. Ruby star is a rubric creator for you. So you don't have to worry about creating rubrics from scratch. Okay, let's look at it's Ruby star for teachers. You just Google it, you'll find. Okay, so this is Ruby star. Okay, I'll show you an example. So we are doing Ruby star for assignment, right? So we have, for example, writing. Okay, suppose I want to give Ruby star for assignment, which is based on writing. Okay, so you can click the rubric, go down below, go back, Re reload, reload this, reload the page, okay, go back, go back, go, go back, okay, just go to, okay, so go to work scale, okay, research project, right, just go to science, the science project, under this there will be project, although science, it's okay, it's, it's offline today, <laughs> sorry, sorry, you cannot access? Okay, okay, I will, the Rubista is actually a free site, so sometime goes offline. Okay, so, yeah, I will get back to Rubista later because it's a free site, so it's probably offline now. Okay. Again later. Okay. Just uh, reload, reload, reload. Okay, it's a, it's a database error probably without server, so I will show you all that because Rubista requires a tutorial by itself. Okay, so coming back to the... Assignment. So basically, you have all your assignment. You have all your files here. Can you click Zul the file? The file. Okay. So you will see the file, and you will see click here download. Okay. So click download, and then you can see your file. So basically, this is the limitation of our system because most of the complaint we receive on the system is you have to download everything, but. We have to download it. We can't open a pop-up. Do you know why we, they have set it that way? Is because they want to ensure that the content is actually downloaded in case the student wants to know whether we actually downloaded the file or not. So we asked the Moodle developers in the forum, why do you have this download function? Why don't you just pop up a PDF? They say because we, it's a part of the best practices to ensure that we download everything and we have viewed it. It's a proof, evidence of viewing it. So that's the way the system has been set up. So it will work on all Moodle systems the same way. Okay, so close.
okay so i'll move on to the next part okay